Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Knowledge. Uh, this is Yamin. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to run a Laravel project downloaded from uh, GitHub or Google Drive. So first of all, in order to download a project, uh, you have to go to your certain project, uh, click code and download the zip. And if you are using uh, Google Drive, then uh, click the project and click over here to download uh, I already downloaded a project uh, which is this one so first of all what I have to do is that uh, I have to extract the folder because it's the zip file okay uh, once I extract the folder what I have to do is that I have to go inside the directory okay it will take around two minutes not more than that Uh, okay, it's done. Now I will go to project directory and click Ctrl Shift, right click and click over here. Open PowerShell window here. Now our first part is that uh, we already download a project. Now what we, we have to do is that we have to run a command which is Composer Update. I will copy it and paste it over here and press Enter. Now it will take around 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, it actually depends on your project size and how many packages are used uh, in that project. Uh, so now I will pause the video and resume again when all the packages are updated. Okay. Now, thank you. Uh, okay, guys, our composer update is done. Uh, now I will open the project uh, using Sublime Text. Uh, I already did so now uh, if your project has a dot dot env file already then uh, all you have to do is that uh, you have to copy the database name and uh, create a database uh, create a database over here then run the command uh, php artisan migrate and php artisan serve and done your project will be done now in this tutorial i will consider that uh, i don't have a dot env file so i'll just uh, delete this file and i will uh, consider that we only have env dot example so first of all what i have to do is that i have to rename this folder i will rename it dot uh, env dot example uh, to dot env okay press enter now our .env .example file is .env. Now what I have to do is that first uh, we need to we need a uh, app key. So for that uh, we have to write a command PSP addition key generate. Okay. Press enter. A key is generated. As you can see. Now we need to give a database name. Uh, I can uh, you can give the database name anything you want a random database let's call it a test database okay and the username will be a uh, root and the password will be null okay let's save it save control s now i will copy the database name control c and uh, create a database for that name Okay, database created successfully now our uh, this uh, up to five part is done now I have to write use this command PSP artisan migrate PSP artisan migrate this enter okay our database created successfully now that's a lot of database okay let's write PSP artisan serve which is the last part which is this one okay, let's see uh, okay now let's run the project okay let's see here okay all the data has come now right okay okay you can see the project 
uh, this way you can run a Laravel project and thank you very much for watching this video and I really appreciate if uh, you subscribe my channel and uh, give a like uh, if you get a help from this video and thank you very much again for watching this video.